Hi everyone. So deployment automation. Deployment automation is something which every organization wants to have. Everyone wants to achieve a single click deployment process. So how can you do it? Let me tell you the requirements that we were having, the problem statements we, we had. So we have around eight to nine lobs, line of business, and everyone were having their own deployment scripts. And few of the lobs were having even uh, deployments totally manually. So one person sits on uh, server, logs into it, and uh, do the changes, restart the application, then logs into the another server. So it was, most of the process was manually. So obviously it's not acceptable. How can we do it uh, totally automated? So when we started exploring it, we got to know about the run deck, which uh, is based on basically SSH mechanism, but it was not suitable for us because we, have, we are having Windows servers also as a stack. So then afterwards we explored M Collective. So it's an orchestration tool which comes along with the Puppet. Most of you have uh, used it. So we are having one client server and thousands of master servers. So you can actually push the commands from one client server to all the servers parallelly. So we are having ActiveMQ as a queuing system. You push the commands, uh, it uh, gets queued, queued in the ActiveMQ and all the master servers look at the commands that uh, if uh, it, the, this particular command is for me or not, then it uh, acts on that command and responds to that active MQ. And from active MQ, we read that what's the response of that particular command uh, on that particular server. So it's actually uh, basically parallel deployments happening on. So let me show you the uh, deployment dashboard that we are having. So this is a deployment dashboard. You can see that we have application projects and all. So. Uh, what we have done is we have a MySQL as a backend, so we store all the applications, uh, all the servers mapped to it, and what all actions we want to trigger to it. We have master table defining all the actions, and we have another table define, uh, mapping application with the actions. So what all actions you want to trigger on that particular application. So by selecting that application, you can, uh, basically you need to define configuration also. Uh, so what are the basically containers you have, you want to restart on it, you define all the actions, uh, basically, uh, let me show you. Okay, okay, just leave it. Sorry. So basically, when we, okay. when we click on the deploy, so we are having multiple options, deploy, redeploy, resume, rollback. Whenever you click on the deploy op uh, option, and so it, it picks up the, all the actions from the backend, what all actions you want to trigger in serial order. And we have integrated it with, it, with the F5 using the Pi control API. We have integrated it with the Centurion to enable or disable notifications that you have configured in. So it's totally just single click. You can deploy uh, the changes on thousands of servers parallelly in just 15 to 20 minutes. And we also in, uh, implemented the runtime logs you can see on this. It's uh, basically implemented using the web sockets. And we have option here to even enable or disable the servers on F5 directly using the Pi control API. We have given uh, detail, complete detail here, server-wise, uh, what the status of the deployment on particular server. If uh, some error comes, then also it shows everything is available on GUI itself. No need to log into that server and do anything. So a person just need to log in and just click on deploy, and your application will be deployed in just 10 to 15 minutes on thousands of servers. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? Yes. So we are trying to open source it. Uh, soon it will be. Hi. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.